Hey guys, Rendakor here, continuing the mad science. Before I uh, attempt to overhaul the uh, pump and refinery system, I wanted to show off a bit more of the different kinds of pipes you have in Buildcraft. So with that in mind, I overhauled my basement production and smelting and macerating system and included some of the uh, other different types of pipes like uh, iron and diamond. So uh, let's check that out. Basically, the uh, intent of the system is to be much more automated, so it starts out right here. And this chest is just an empty chest, and what happens with this chest is whatever you put in it will get pumped down into the uh, stuff below. So, for example, I could put into the chest um, a couple copper ore, and this switch operates all of it. That's all the redstone down there. So as soon as I flick this switch, the generator will start pumping copper ore one at a time down into the basement. And that copper ore is going to come down this pipe here. It's going to go over here, and it's going to come up to this weird little intersection, which is an iron pipe. Now, iron pipes are one-way travel. So if you see how down here, kind of at the bottom, it's clear, and then here on the sides, it's more like full. That means that regardless of which side it comes in, it will go down the bottom. So it's going to come across here, and it's going to go down the bottom into our good friend, the macerator. Now the macerator is going to macerate it, and it's going to turn the copper into dust. Then this pump here is going to pump the dust out into here, the furnace. The furnace is going to smelt it, and that's going to pump it back up into here, which is another chest next door, which is my storage chest for my bars. Now, what's all this nonsense here? Well, that's easiest to show with a demonstration. So we've got copper in the chest already, and we're going to add to that copper um, some tin ore. And this way, you'll be able to see what happens, um, or what that other tube is for. But basically, it's designed as an overflow catch. So obviously, the macerator is smelting copper. So all the copper that's pouring in is going to get macerated. Now, what happens if you try to shove something in there that isn't copper? To demonstrate that, I'm going to uh, turn off this machine by popping that redstone. And that way, you'll see what normally happens um, before my little setup here fixes it. Alright, so we've got a couple more copper going down into the macerator, um, just so that it didn't empty out by accident. Now, this one up here is tin. Now, when the tin tries to enter a macerator that already has its only slot filled with copper, it will sort of derp up. Pop out of the pipe, and just kind of hang out there. Now, if I had thrown in, you know, 50 stacks of everything, this would literally just sit here, and then it would eventually despawn. This little doohickey here is an obsidian pipe. Now what this does is it sucks things in. By default, it only gets um, like one stack in front of it. Like that. Or one block. One block in front of it. However, if you run power to it from an engine, its rate of um, its area greatly increases, and it can pull the loose blocks laying on the macerator. And it will pull them in and it will put them in this chest, which is my overflow chest. Once pulled into the chest, they are then pumped back up into the system. They will loop up here, they will go over here, and they will go back down to see if there is room yet in the macerator. And this will um, repeat. It will just keep rotating everything around. And these um, are all redstone engines, redstone engines. So it's not like they really need power. They just sort of pump on their own all day. So that um, way I can throw, as soon as I get back from mining, I can just dump all my ore, everything that needs to be smelted anyway, I can just dump right in the chest and it'll come right down here. Now, the question is, do we really want to be smelting tin and copper? Not really, we like to make them into bronze, or um, another recipe you can do is you can make them somehow into iron. but. Regardless, we don't really want to be smelting um, tin and bronze. So how does the machine know what to smelt and what to um, do something else with? And, you know, hell, what else 
can you do with it? Well, in addition to smelting it and using these little machines here, there is another machine you can use from BuildCraft, and that is called the Automatic Crafting Table. Now, this is um, very easy to make. You just build a normal crafting table and then four wooden gears. So all it takes is like some wood and some sticks and stuff. Just really, it's just wood. Just wood rearranged in a certain way. Now, we'll drop it down here because I think you can pick it back up. And the interface looks just like a regular crafting table. You know, you put in a recipe and you take out a component, or you take out a product. But what it does is if you feed materials into it with a tube from one side, it will pop the crafted product out on the other side and it will repeat this process over and over again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna see if we can set this up so that whenever um, we get copper dust, or tin dust, instead of sending it to the furnace, we're going to pipe it away and send it into the automatic crafting table. All right, so I had to make some more room. Um, so here's my crafting table, and in it you put the recipe exactly how you want to make it, and you don't take the component out because it will use it. So you just leave this in here like that. Now, how do we know, how do we get the machine to send only the bronze and tin dust over here, or the copper and tin dust over here, while sending like iron and gold and everything into the furnace. Well, there's a special pipe for that, and that is the diamond transport pipe. Now with the diamond pipe you can create filters and send certain materials one way and certain materials another. So the way you do it is you place the diamond pipe where you want like the intersection, like that. And then whatever you want to go um, in each color's direction. You see I like the edges of color, like this one's blue, this one's green, this one's black. So the green way we want to send all copper dust and tin dust. And I'll have to go back and I'll have to get gold dust and iron dust and everything and send everything else this way. But this way, whenever copper dust or a tin dust comes through the diamond pipe, it will go out the green side and into the automatic crafting table. Now, we don't really want this to just stop here. We want it to feed into our macerator, right? So we're going to do that. But we don't just want it to um, be sort of random, because right now, when something comes from the blue side, it'll have a 50% chance to go into the furnace, and a 50% chance to make a right back to the automatic crafting table and come in the wrong fucking direction. So for that, we use an iron pipe. And an iron pipe, like I said earlier, is a one-way pipe. And you change the direction with a wrench. So right now, the clear side is on the right. So if something came in from the crafting table, rather than head into the furnace like we want, it would head down towards blue and go back into the macerator or some shit. And that's not good. So now it's pointing at the uh, automatic table. And now it's pointing down at our electric furnace, which is what we want it to do. So let me go get some more um, dust for the other materials, and we will make sure that this works. All right, so I macerated up some um, iron dust and some gold dust. We're going to add them to the little UI for the diamond pipe. Um, iron and gold going blue, and copper and tin going bronze. So we're going to throw um, one. Um, we're going to throw a couple of each ore into the uh, system just to um, validate that it fucking works. Alright, so I have a bunch of ore in here. Um, I sent one iron, one gold first, then um, one tin and two copper. I had to use two copper so that we make sure we get enough dust to proc the automatic crafting table, and then just the extra ore that I have sitting in my inventory as a result of uh, fucking retransmuting to get the dust for the video. So we'll turn the, the uh, mechanism on, and then I'm going to clean up my inventory a bit while this pipe's down there. Alright, so here come the ores, um, in sort of random order. Let me make sure we've got enough, yeah, we've got plenty of coal in the furnace. So, as they come down, they should either get uh, macerated if they're up, or fed into the overflow for a second, and then, um, and then flung back out. I would like to eventually come in and add another diamond pipe, um, to filter out, like, materials that we cannot, like, macerate so that they don't just loop around forever to instead feed them into, like, an, a real overflow chest that they just, like, will sit in 
and uh, that I just check periodically so that when I come back, I can just dump all my shit in the one chest, and it'll filter everything the fuck out, but I don't feel like doing that right now. So, here we go. We have the iron fed into the macerator. The gold's gonna pop, get sucked into the overflow. Um, and so is the tin. The tin's sucked in, and the iron might finish up in time. Nope. The iron finished up just in time for the second bit of copper to come in. And it'll start macerating as soon as this iron dust is pulled out. While everything else um, begins to loop around. So here's the turning point one. The iron dust follows its cue and gets piped down into the electric furnace to be smelted. We should have some copper dust coming out. Here we go. Copper dust is coming out, and the copper is going to go into the green side. Awesome. So that's working. And that's going to go here into my automatic furnace, and I'll sort of show what the uh, UI looks like here as things accumulate. It just sort of stacks up, and then once you have a kind of complete double stack of everything, it will make it, and it will spit it out. Now, um, this mostly works with um, normal recipes and um, most other recipes, but not alchemy stuff, unfortunately, because the uh, Philosopher's Stone doesn't stack, so when it tries to do it, you never get you know two Philosopher's Stones stacked up, and it doesn't realize that it can complete the recipe, and so it never spits it out. And I don't know if this is like a bug because they're two different mods, or if it's something that can be fixed without like making the Philosopher's Stone stackable. But I did try it, I spent like two hours trying earlier, and I was going to show off the crafting table then, but it totally didn't work, so I cut it. Alright, so the tin is finally um, getting its turn in the macerator, and the tin dust hopefully will pop out and go to the green side, and then come down here, and then shit, we're going to have to wait for the fucking copper too. Alright, well this will be a minute. Now it is possible to speed up some of these processes using um, one of the last pipes I don't think I've shown yet, which is the gold pipe. And what the gold pipe does is it speeds things up. It doesn't actually make machines work faster, but it makes things like flow through pipes faster. So to demonstrate, we put this here. And I'm just going to toss in like a useless bit of cobble to see if it works without me having to run a generator to it. And no, it doesn't. All right, well, the wiki says redstone. So we'll try again. If this doesn't work, then I'll have to go make another, another, another... Oh, yes! Okay, good. Redstone works. That thing fucking flew. Much better, right? So we can then add, you know, steam engines all over the... Or, uh, not steam engines, um, gold pipes throughout the system to speed the whole process up. Let's see if it works up here, too. Oh, right, um, well, here it goes. This is actually about to go off, I think. Um, does this need, like, independent fucking redstone power, too? Because every machine in this fucking game is a huge baby. Ah, well, um, I'm an idiot. I realized what the fuck is going on. It's making it, but things don't just pop out into pipes. You need to use, um, wood pipes with engines. So that's what I was forgetting, so we're going to fix that right now. And then, hopefully, this um, whole little system will actually work. Alright, I just hit the switch and turned it on, and look, there it goes. Um, the materials, um, it's, it worked. It popped it out, it's sending the bronze dust over, and then that'll get into the furnace, and that'll make the bars, and up it will go. Alright, so I've uh, tweaked this setup a little bit more. Um, I've added a second crafting table to the mix here. And the reason for that is that, like I said, um, I don't really need bronze anymore. I have a ton of fucking bronze. So we're going to come up with um, a new recipe. And 
that is made like this with uh, the two dusts still in larger quantities but if you combine them it makes a small pile of iron dust and if you take two of these and you combine them you get one iron dust so you turn all this shit that you don't really use and you turn that into iron dust which makes iron bars which are actually useful for like alchemy and for everything else that we do still need all right so in here we have the recipe for the small iron dust and then as that makes that it comes up here and it makes those two into one iron dust which will then spit out into the, uh, the electric furnace, I think. Yeah, here comes the uh, second bit now, and it should go up in here, and then it should come out up here, out the other side, as soon as... Yep, there it goes, and there's our iron dust, and that will pop right into the furnace, and now the system is complete. And I can throw all of my ore in there, wantonly, and it will smelt the shit out of it. And it will pop out either iron or gold, even if I send in bronze, copper, or even if I send in copper, tin. Um, it'll smelt it and break it down um, according to what is most useful. The only limiting factor to this is keeping coal in my furnace here, or my generator here, but that's uh, something we will get to another time. Now we're going to go perfect the piping and quarry system and begin laying more pipe to drag everything back from the quarry site to my main house where it will be fed into this wondrous mechanism and I'll add a couple more diamond pipes to filter everything into its own unique chest which should be pretty cool so look forward to it.